Hello, my name is Gareth from bzmmicro.com. I'm going to go through with you in this video uh, a few of the generalizations that are associated with the Boizita engine, no matter what model you install it in. We'll do some comparisons, relevant comparisons, between a CY, which uh, was taken out of a Lucy, and um, generally we'll concentrate on CY comparisons because that's mostly what you guys are tearing out of models to, to fit a Boizita. Um, there aren't very men. There aren't any manufacturers that uh, or that supply a, a Zenoa as an OEM engine, so um, we'll we'll go at it from that angle. Okay, so let's go through what you'll get in the box when you pick up your Boizita. You'll get obviously the engine. Depending on what CC you go for, you'll get a 23, 26, or 28.5. As you'll see, the engine is supplied without. A carburetor without a clutch case or clutch, nor is it supplied with a spark plug. There are a few reasons for that, mostly because you guys can buy spark plugs as cheap as we can, so there ain't no point in us putting a spark plug in there that's going to end up costing you a bunch of, a bunch of money. So, we do supply the engine currently with a, a chassis mounting bracket that's used for the installation in a HPI Baja in a B, T or S, C. So this is replaces the, uh, the the chassis brace where the carbon fan cover sticks out. You just need to refit this one instead of the stock one and you're good to go in that situation. We also supply the customary Go Faster sticker sheet, A5. And you also get a bit of an instruction manual. First page is just some precautions, some installation precautions that we'd like you to take care of, and a few um, a few of the the consumable components that are used within the engine for when you need to perform some maintenance and some uh, some information about the clutch cases and what does and what doesn't work. You'll also get a full breakdown on each and every part, the part number as well. It's all picturized. Some of the Beezer and Micro apparel and some exploded diagrams to help you. Okay, so you got your engine out of the box now and you've had a quick flick through the through the manual and you're comfortable with that. What do we need to do to get it into a model and get it going, set up, ready to go? We're not going to talk about specific installations here, we're just going to talk about what you're going to need to do to the engine each and every time, no matter what model you're going to fit it into. So, what we're going to need to do, we're going to need a spark plug for one, we're going to need a CMR7H spark plug made by NGK, just like that. You're going to need a carburetor, we highly recommend uh, the 668, 771 or the 990. This particular one is a 771. We recommend a velocity stack and more importantly corrected sizes bolts. We'll, we'll go through that one in a bit. Show you what you need to know there. And also you're going to need to do some work to your clutch case. This is a turtle one, this is a CY one but the, the dimensions are all exactly the same so it'll be It'll be good for us to go through this one. A Zenoa one incidentally fits straight on. It's only a CY one that, that needs some attention and some alterations to install correctly. And obviously a Turtle one will as well. But I'll be able to go through the, the one and only thing that you need to do to, to get it to work on your Boizita. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to look at to prepare the engine for installation is the clutch case. What needs to be done on the clutch case is, is that the this flange that sits in onto the oil seal needs to be taken down. What does it need to be taken down by? Two millimeters. You need to take two mil off this flange here that you see my finger on. The standard one is uh, four point four point two four point two nine millimeter, and we want to be at. 2.2 mil. So if you take 2.1 millimeter off that or 2 millimeter, you're going to be all good there. 
It's very easy to do. I've done it multiple times myself. And that is all you need to do. Basically, the way I do it is I use a Dremel if I haven't got a machine. This one's been machined for me, but the ones I've had to do have a permanent marker and basically mark down here 2.2 millimeters is enough. Cast that round like so. And then you've got something to work from. Take that down with a sanding drum or anything you can get it to come down with and you're ready to go. Okay, so we've made the required alterations to the clutch case and we've test fitted it and we can see it's going to fit up alright. There's no gaps, it's not pushing anywhere. It sits in there nice and snug, like so. What are we going to do next? Let's bowl it up. We're just using the hardware that it come with, swapping it around. So there's no need to go get some more. So basically drop him in, like so. So we got them all. Just take them down so they bite. Don't wrench them up just yet. And once we've got them done, nip them up diagonally, opposites. Like so. Okay, so we got a clutch case mounted. We're not going to go into mounting your clutch because there's loads of different options. Basically, we recommend a high quality clutch. The stock clutch or the CY high response or HPI high response clutches, they work. They're not the best, but they do indeed work. There are other better options out there, but you know what I mean? If you want to if you really want to go spend the money, there's Harm make a really good clutch, L can make a good clutch, Lauterbach can make a good clutch. But the engine will still run with a stock clutch. It's not a problem. Okay, so we got the clutch case all mounted up and nipped up and snugged up tight, so we're all happy with that. What are we going to do next? We're going to have a go at fitting the spark plug. The spark plug we use is a CMR7H. It's the standard spark plug that all petrol large scale engines use, so widely available from your favourite suppliers. And like I said, you can get it as cheap as we can buy it, so no point us supplying it with your engine because it's only going to add to the cost. So, with your plug spanner, nip him up just to feel it go past the, the anti vibration washer and pop your um, spark plug cap on there. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we got a spark plug installed. Let's have a look at the next step at installing the carburetor. Your engine will be supplied with some masking tape over the insulator, which is a ferrobestus material. This is a fibrous resin block, which doesn't allow for any transference of heat from the engine through the carburetor. So it's in, in it being fibrous resin, it's easy to crack. So one of the problems that we've had is, is that people have been using the incorrect length bolts and just nipping it right up as far as it goes and cracking their insulator. So what we're going to show you now in a sec is the right length that you need. Now we can't tell you specific bolt length because there are different types of velocity stacks but what we can tell you is how much thread material you need out the other side of the carburetor once you've assembled it. So what we're looking for Once you've mounted it up like so, and you put your gasket material on, we're looking for a material length of 7.6 millimeters. So anything slightly less than that, I wouldn't go any more, 
but as long as you've got enough on there to catch the bolts, we're all good. So, snip him up here. No need to tighten it up too tight. We got this is being supplied with spring washers, so just take it up there. Don't over tighten, or you you still will be able to crack your insulator. Like so. Okay, so we got the carburetor and the velocity stack all snugged up. We've had a quick and visual inspection of the insulator and we've not managed to crack it, so it's all good. Next, we're going to look at some of the differences between the Boyzita and a standard CY type engine. One of the main or one of the more obvious differences that you guys are going to find out through just installing it is the size of the exhaust port. Once I can peel this masking tape off the delivery tape, it'll be able to show you. On a Boyzita, it's 14 millimeters. If you can see that 14.6 mil on a standard CY engine, we're at 11 millimeters. One of the problems this causes is limits limits the amount of airflow that goes out of the engine with a standard with a standard exhaust system. As you can see, this is a Boyzita exhaust gasket. And this is a standard exhaust gasket. This is a Zenero's exhaust gasket. So if we place that on top of the one on top of the other, you can see that the exhaust flange is significantly bigger. What will happen if you run it like this? Nothing. The, the engine will run perfectly fine. It just won't run as well as it could do. There are pipes and builders now taking a taking the time to build pipes specifically for the Boyzita so it will be it won't be long before there's specific pipes out there for this engine but in the meantime if you don't want to wait for that or like a specific pipe and you want to continue running that pipe there isn't a problem you can what what we've had to do because obviously we haven't had specific pipes available to us either is we've dremeled out the flange of the exhaust system so this is as closely matched to this as possible and if we haven't been able to open it right out we've chamfered it just so that the that the exhaust gases don't have a, a, a edge to go against so if we were to if this was if this was say the exhaust we'd chamfer that down so that it just gives it a nice smooth airflow Okay, so we fitted all our parts that are required for any general installation. Now we're ready to go fit it in our model. There are some specific installation requirements depending upon your model. Those, these, are, these are detailed in some other videos that we've got up or about to put up. Basically, this unit currently is not a drop-in fitment for an MCD, but it is a drop-in fitment for a Baja, for a Lucy 5, for a Contrast, for a Horman, Elkin, Lauterbacher and Harms. Well, we just hope that you that you enjoy your Boyzita micro engine purchase. Any problems, don't hesitate to get in touch. Drop us a line, catch us on Facebook, check out our website for more up-to-date information. And um, have fun. <laughs>